M0 FXB, take a look here. Retivis MA1 beneath. Independent volumes here and squelch. We just turn Hubnet down. We're just listening Hubnet. Yes, we've added a few memory channels in there. Latest firmware. So now we're just listening to the ICOM 2730 Black Edition. They both look fantastic. Price-wise, let me have a look on Google as you listen. So that's GB3WR. We come a bit lower, I think. They both have removable heads. I've only removed the icon because it never came with the mounting, you know, the mounting bracket to put it on the on the rear unit, which I will show you in a bit. Dual band, of course, cross band. So the, I would say the black edition, if you shop around, I think you'd get one for about £300. The Retivis MA1. It's a similar price, really. Yeah, I would say it's actually a similar price. Let's just go down a bit. Here we can. Just going to zoom in on the MA1 first. So it's a thinner display. It come with comes with this microphone. The, base, the head unit comes off very easily. It does come with a separation head. Looks like this. Has a quarter inch there. And you can basically unplug the head unit and pop it into this. And they give you, a, I think it's three meter extension cable. Also a car bracket. So you pretty much get everything you need. The base unit, I would say, is sort of flatter and longer than the icon sort of flatter and longer speakers at the top there and to remove the head unit see if i can do this it's turning it around here let's have a look move them i'll take the mic out and of course you can control completely control the radio just using the mic so there you look how easy that pops out and then the cable just turn that just there. Uh, trying to see if there's any other connectors in there. I'll get some more light on this. That's better. A bit dusty. Anyway, there's your connectors. So all very, you know, easy. Clips on, and then I think at that angle it's nicer, isn't it? Let's just pop that under there for now. Separation. So the nice thing, yeah, it's three hundred pounds still. Maybe I think they're doing deals. I think you'll get it cheaper than three hundred, more like two sixty, two seventy. Um, and then you've got independent. You can move across the control. And I've already w tested this. You can transmit and still hear. See that when you press and hold, I'll do that again, it goes into what they, it's, it's sort of single screen, but it's the same, isn't it? It adds the voltage and mutes the A band. And then if you press left and right, you know, you can decide which one to PTT on. So we can have the PTT on this side, press that one, squelch behind, like I said. 
and um, but we can move control here and we can then we can change the channel changer which is here look well that might explain why the uh, elements are a bit shorter uh, uh, if it's yeah, so that's the summary of that. Now let's look at the icon. Sorry that I keep leaving the volume of the people chatting so loud. I, I just get so into it. <laughs> but anyway, let's look at the other one. So of course, it is beautiful. I mean, it's it is. As soon as you see it, it just blows you away with how beautiful it is. Uh, I did have the original one with the sort of white background. That's one of my first dual band radios. Turn it down. You've got separate volume, separate squelch here. Yeah, they both got menu systems. I forgot to show that on the other one. And that is you literally just go F and then press that. And then you scroll through all your parameters and there are several. And on the icon menu there, uh, so how do we scroll through? Oh yeah, of course. And enter and then clear. Okay. And I've done lots of tutorials on it. There's no point me doing it again. So one of the key things that I think many have complained about, and I think ICOM should listen to this, and that is we have to buy a separate head unit to hold the head unit on. We don't get the in an included plasticky thing like this. We have to buy a separate car bracket, and all right, we did. I have got an extension lead here, which I'm presuming came with it, and that is quite long. And I just think it's such bad PR to do that. Now the microphone is just a very good. ICOM 207. So the microphone um, is excellent, full control of the radio. Again, cross band, repeat, all that kind of stuff that you'd expect. 50 watts on both of these radios. I'll just say to ICOM if you had charged 320 and then included the extras that we need, yeah, because you literally get the radio and you've got nowhere to put the head unit, which is luckily sits very well like this okay it sits nice it's flat at the bottom it's a really nice head unit and i've got the magnetic connectors on the back i bought them off aliexpress everything you need you can actually get for a very low price from aliexpress which is what i did but i shouldn't have to because if you can't get a radio and mount it in your car or mount it on the radio from when you from a brand new purchase that you've made to me that is a bad decision that icom have made i'm not i love icom i've got lots of icom gear but think things through. Think about what the customer does when he gets the radio out of the box. The last thing he wants is to go, oh, where am I going to put the head unit? And then to come out of the menu, let's press that. VHF, UHF, tone, a lot, everything's on the front that you need, really. It's a bit more menu driven, I would say, the icon. But tone here on the front, how do we get out of this menu? Just get F in it. So, but I can see how possibly the Retivis was inspired by the Icon. I like them both, they both work well. If I had to choose one, you know the answer. Bye for now.